to Hollywell. It's the fifth largest town in Flintshire. The Leisure Centre is at the heart of Hollywell. It has children's playgrounds, tennis courts, skate parks, even somewhere to play football. It has the swimming pools in the Leisure Centre and a perfect gym. There is a minor injuries unit as part of the wider medical services of Hollywell, which is our hospital. We're here today at Greenfield Valley where you can explore exciting 70 acres of woodland. It has the museums and visitor centre to, to discover our amazing history. It's got a giant adventure playground, it's educational and they change their programmes for different events. There's fun to be had for everyone at Greenfield Valley. Legend, uh, St Winifred lived in this area, she was a young girl. It was before it was Hollywell, it was, there were kingdoms in them days um, and each kingdom had its own like hierarchy, you know. Okay. Um, and Winifred um, was a young girl who wanted to become a nun. Um, and there was another prince from one of the other principalities who wanted her to be his bride. So. He kept pursuing her, she didn't want nothing to do with him because she, you know, wanted to obviously become a nun. One day he'd seen her out on her own, so he thought he'd try his luck again and she refused again, so this time he cut her head off. Her head fell to the ground. Where her head fell, a spring came. Um, right. The spring, um, it's the same spring that's coming up now there today, yeah. from the 6th century. Um, now her uncle, who was the local priest, he uh, seen what had happened and he come down um, and he picked her head up and he placed it back on her shoulders and she was restored back to life. He said some prayers and she lived for another 16 to 22 years. She did become the nun um, and she was the nun in a, 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 the abbess. She became the abbess as well in a convent not far from here. Because of what had happened, word got round and people started to come here because they'd heard of the cure, you know, with her being restored back to life. Um, and they came here to get cured for whatever ailments they had. Um, you know, it, it might be just like some rheumatism or it, with, people have come here not been able to walk and bathed in the water and been able to walk afterwards. Um, a lot of it is, is um, already in the archives, but there's lots of things that have happened that we don't even know about. People come yeah. back years later and say, oh, my auntie came here years ago and she had a cure, you know, right. but they're not all authenticated. Yeah. Um, so that's been going on since the 6th century. The shrine was built in the 12th century, which is up there now. So um, do you still have people bathing in the water yes, then? Yes, they do, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, we have a lot of people coming up, no matter what the weather is, they just yeah. still come. Um, water's the same temperature all the year round because it's flowing, yes. you know. Um, and they do have pilgrimages coming here, lots of people all the year round, you yeah. know. Um, and on St Winifred's feast day, they have a pilgrimage that comes from all the churches in the area. Um, they pray down here and they have mass, the bishop comes, yeah. and they have mass on the grass there. Yeah. Um, and that's a tradition mm -hmm. that's been going on for a long while, you'll see. 
In certain parts of Hollywell you get amazing views over the estuary. If you are looking to move to this beautiful area, please give us a call on 01352 734 802.